So this is the GV grill or the Basin R grill as some of them call it. It's the open mouth grill for the Gen 2 Mazda Speed. Um, I just got it yesterday and it comes unfinished. I mean, you can install it as is. It's uh, got a bit of a clear coat on it, I guess. But uh, from what I've been told, it will fade if you have it on your car for a year, two years, however long, rain, sun, it fades and it looks terrible. And then you don't want to take it off your car again and, you know, take it all apart just to paint it. So I'm going to paint it first. Uh, this was recommended to me by some locals. I had no idea. I was just going to get ready to install it. So picked up some sandpaper here. I'm going to pretty much be using the 600 and the 800 grit. I might not even use the 600. This thing is very, very smooth. I just want to take the uh, top gloss layer off uh, pretty much and uh, go from there. So uh, I'm going to start prepping. I'm going to start sanding it. Uh, pretty much just going to sand the, the areas that you're going to see. Uh, everything that's going to be hidden behind the bumper. I don't know. To me, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we will see. So pretty much, I just finished my first pass here. Uh, I used 400, and then I went to 600. To, uh, seems to have worked pretty well. I missed a few spots, so I'm gonna go back over it now. But the idea here is you just wanna scuff any surface that's gonna see paint. Anywhere you want paint to stick, it's gotta be back to kind of the bare basics, no clear coat, none of whatever they put on this. I don't know what it was, but it was glossy and it's uh, it's coming off, so that's, uh, it's working. So, this is our finished product. I started with 400, because the 600, uh, I don't think it was doing enough, so I started with 400. Then I moved up to 600. Then the final pass I just did was with 800 grit. Um, next step would be to wipe this thing down with isopropyl alcohol, or uh, I don't know, maybe you could use paint thinner. This is like urethane or polyurethane, some kind of plastic. I'm gonna use rubbing alcohol because I think it's a little safer on this uh, this type of plastic here, but I don't know. <laughs> it's my first time, so uh, I guess I guess we'll see. So first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give it a wipe down uh, with a paper towel, just with some water, just to get rid of the, the dust and everything from the sanding. Then I'll uh, wipe her down with the uh, rubbing alcohol there. And we'll see how that uh, turns out. So I finished wiping it down. I just used some paper towel and some rubbing alcohol and uh, looks okay. It's very, very smooth. Uh, after a coat of primer, probably do two coats of paint and a uh, coat of clear coat, maybe two coats of clear coat. And I don't know, I think that's probably it. Now what I'm gonna do, just cause I'm a little paranoid and they say the prep work's the most important part is uh, after having wiped down the grill, I kind of went uh, here. I kind of wiped down in behind everywhere because the dust from the sandpaper, it just goes everywhere. Um, and then I wiped it down with paper towel and isopropyl, which also leaves kind of some little like fibers and little dust and whatnot behind. So uh, I'm just going to give it a dry wipe down with the microfiber and uh, that should be, should be good enough. So I think that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm starting to lose daylight here and I don't want to start painting in the uh, in the dark I don't know how that would turn out I don't want to know <laughs> but uh, yeah it's it's nice and smooth it's clean I'm gonna set it down inside until tomorrow and that's it tomorrow we will start uh, priming see how long the primer needs to cure I don't know if I can paint it the same day within an hour or two whatever um, but no big deal we'll just we'll paint it back here it'll be uh, good to go by tomorrow hopefully install on uh friday or saturday sunday i don't know it's a busy weekend but uh yeah that is it okay so here we are a few days later 
we're gonna uh, hit it with the primer now and kind of see how uh, how that goes. It's a little windy, but should be okay. I have this just as primer. It says it's good for plastic, urethane, polyurethane, so I don't know, it should work, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna see, I guess. So I'm gonna give this uh, spray down here and uh, I'll probably do one coat, kind of see how that looks, give it a second coat, and then I'll let it dry for, I don't know, maybe half an hour, an hour. It actually doesn't say curing time on here, which, uh, which is interesting, but it's okay. We, uh, we will see. So this is the first coat. It uh, seems to be sticking pretty well. I'm just going very light, very easy. I'd rather do two or three light coats than one heavy one and you get drips and stuff. But uh, it's not that hard to paint. You're able to get everywhere pretty easily with the can. Um, but yeah, it looks uh, looks all right. So I'm gonna do maybe one, one or two more, just depending on how it looks. And then I'll uh, leave it out in the sun here, let it dry, let it cure, and uh, we'll hit it with paint and then the clear coat. Hopefully we can get it all done today and maybe we can install it uh, on Sunday, uh, tomorrow. That would be that would be cool, but uh, yeah, it's looking good. All right, <clears throat> so I think I'm done with the primer. I did about two, three coats at most and uh, some of the spots, I guess these are low spots, maybe they didn't get enough coverage, so I'll probably just touch those up. But uh, overall, it looks pretty freaking good, and it's drying quick. The can doesn't have uh, drying time on it, so I googled it. General rule is 30 minutes to an hour, so I'll probably touch up a few spots, let it sit for 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and then, uh, and then we'll hit it with some color. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So, at first I thought maybe it was the primer not liking the plastic and that's why I was getting those kind of high-low spots where you could see still the, the black from the plastic underneath. Um, but it turns out it was the way that I was applying it. The nozzle isn't very good and when you give it short bursts it kind of shoots out pretty much air or just uh, nothing <laughs> for the first spray. So when you're doing those quick short sprays like everyone tells you to so you don't get any runs, uh, the, the paint's not coming out, so I had to hold it a little longer, and uh, ideally you want to, um, just based on what I read anyways, you kind of want to start away from the surface, and then move towards it, and you get much better coverage that way, uh, it appears anyways, because yeah, it looks great now, so that'll be the final coat. Um, maybe buy some better primer if you guys are going to do this, this is all I could find, it's just, I don't know, generic primer. <laughs> But uh, it seems to have done the job, so we'll let this dry for probably going to give it a whole hour now because I did go a little uh, a little heavier on the the coats there, the layers, but no runs, no drips, luckily. I was real worried about that, but uh, no, it does uh, looks great. So uh, yeah, that's it. We will uh, be painting it, uh, painting it next. Okay, so we've let this dry for almost an hour and it's uh it's dry to the touch even the heaviest spots that i did are uh are dry so uh without further ado we're gonna throw some color on here Here we are, our first coat of paint. There's some kind of weird splotch marks in here and I don't know if those are because uh, it's a little cold so the paint's clumping, but um, you can't see it at all once you step back. So, I mean, that's probably just something I'm doing wrong. The paint seems to, to be better. Coverage is pretty good. Color is bang on what I wanted, nothing fancy, just plain Jane black. Um, it's uh, sometimes confusing. You go in there, you look at the paints, and some of them are matte, some of them aren't, some of them it doesn't say, some of them it's just look at the cap. Okay. Well, anyways. Yeah, so uh, this is one coat. 
and uh, it's gonna need two or three for sure especially with these uh, weird splotch marks that came in here but um, yeah I mean it's not uh, it's not looking bad it's looking pretty good again this is my first time ever really painting anything like you know trying to do it properly there's a few spots that are kind of light but uh, I'll go over those with the second coat I just want to give it a little little time to dry here but not uh, not bad Well, that concludes, uh, I guess, part two, even though it'll all be one video. Um, the paint can's almost empty. There's a little bit left. I'm going to keep it for uh, any touch-up spots tomorrow when it's brighter out and it's warmer out. And I can go over anything I missed. But, uh, yeah, it looks okay. It's, it's hard to tell because some is, like, this is still wet and this is dry. So when you look at it, this looks like a light spot, but it's not. And then you're tempted to shoot it again and then you get drips. My main goal with this project was I didn't want any drips or runs. There aren't any. That's amazing. That's number one. Uh, the little splotch marks, they're so hardly noticeable. I think once I hit it with the clear, you're probably never going to be able to tell. And uh, then I have something planned for these openings. Uh, make some block off plates. That's coming up. Uh, that'll be kind of cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to lay this inside to cure and uh, dry overnight. Tomorrow it'll be warmer, nicer out. Um, Hopefully I can just get the clear on here and uh, install it at some point soon. That's it. Well, here we have it. The final product. Two light coats of clear and one medium coat as per the directions. I need to just give it an hour to cure and then you can go ahead and install it. But let's uh, take a close look here. It uh, turned out way better than I expected after hitting it with the clear coat. All those little kind of clumps or splotches or whatever happened before uh, they're gone you can't see them anymore um, so that's great I don't know how that happened but like I'll take it um, pretty much covered the whole thing with two two I did two and a half three coats of primer I did a whole can of paint spray paint that small can it was good for about three coats three complete coats and then the clear coat three coats also um, that's it. It's, uh, looks, looks pretty good. Not, not bad.